Osio. Yes, brother Tumbleweed. I don't remember what your real, real, real name is or anything, but okay. Now, when it comes to clothing and fads, what I'm talking about is generally you, it's defined in the Bible. Okay, just just read the New Testament again and then go read into the Old Testament but Paul kind of distinguished you know especially to Timothy and you know and Titus the way things are in the church and things in a way way the young man is supposed to behave and and how the young women and men in church and things you know okay even Peter mentions it in in his writings but in fads and fashions, uh, things that conform to what the world was like before you came to know Christ, if you're walking in that way of life, the way it was before, uh, that means dressing, thinking, talking, and acting like the same person you was before. All right, see, then you're conforming uh, to the way the world is thinking and not conforming to Christ, not conforming to, to, to God, to what the Lord teaches in His Holy Word and what He teaches us through His Holy Apostles. See, you can't... A person, if there is no... If, if there's no as well as the inner if there's no outer too because what comes on the end will show on the out and in every way the way you think the way you talk the way you walk where you go you know uh, what you you know what you're speaking what you're thinking what you're listening to what you're wearing if you look and act just like you was before you came to Christ then how is anyone else going to know see because then it's like this okay if you went to my peoples or to the Lakota peoples for that fact uh, or you know and you're going to talk to them about Christ and you're still going to look and act just like what you did before you ain't going to win nobody to Christ I personally I know how I would have before getting my life around I wouldn't even listen to you I figure you're no more different than what everyone else is and you're going to try to tell me about a better way and you're not showing it no thank you you, you have to have there has to be a separation holiness holy means to be something separate it's not the same as everyone else you can only be what God calls you to be what he tells you to be and in this God's Word the Holy Bible it tells you and when you're not sure Ask them. Ask the Lord to help you to know what things you should not listen to. What you things you should speak. To help them with the renewing of your mind. To re be, You have to have a whole new way of thinking. Not to be thinking like the old person or the old tumbleweed. I can't be going like this for the old running wolf, you know, I cannot, no, 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 no. There has to be a separation, holy. You know, I mean, I can't, a person can't tell you, oh, don't wear short sleeves, or don't wear uh, uh, certain color socks, or, or whatever, you know, you see what I mean? All right, for that alone, that's between you and God. But you got to dress modest, not, not 
not half naked. Hmm? All right, but I'm trying to get you to understand like philosophies and things, you know, fads. The way the world always want, you know, like the way they did in the 60s and 70s, you know, the flower power and all this and look, be like the hippies and da 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 da, you know. If a Christian conforms to those ideologies and starts looking like the world, because that's the way the world defines how you're supposed to dress and look and all this, if you do it because that's what they're defining to fit in, because that's where the world's going. I mean, if you do it because, if you start following after that, then you're straying. You can't, you're not to follow them because your, your citizenship isn't here. Your citizenship is in heaven. See what I mean? Hmm? I hope I hope that's helping. I'm just trying. The rest of what I'm trying to do is leave it for you to pray and to see it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? To see it, how God, what He says, okay? Not what I say, but what God says. If you follow this, and listen to him. You'll do okay. But when we fail to listen to him. And we fail to obey the guidebook. The handbook. Which is the Bible. Then we're going to fail. We're going to fall. But we got to be holy. As he is holy. The Lord tells us this. You know. It stressed that throughout all through the Old Testament and the New. So, get a uh, good uh, a handbook and concordance, you know, a Bible handbook or a concordance and dictionary and things, and um, a good Bible dictionary, okay? And, and start looking up. This is a suggestion. Start doing a study on holy and holiness and and well and then just kind of take it from there you know and let God guide you you know go through the New Testament and then start going back into the old okay this is a suggestion okay try it and see what you find you'll be surprised and God will guide you but pray and ask for God's guidance okay but then you'll start seeing what I what I'm talking about okay See, don't ever always just take my word for it or anyone who has a Ph.D. in front of their name. Uh-uh. This is where you got to start going and looking in to Him. That's, that's the way. And He'll guide you into all truth if you listen as I have to listen. You have to listen. Everyone who loves Him, if we want to make it, and if we want to overcome and we want to please Him, then we got to listen to Him and practice the teachings in here. Okay? I hope that wasn't some help. I, you know, like I said, I'm not a PhD. <laughs> hey, God bless you. Shalom. And I hope that was help. So, you know... That's the only thing I can really I can tell you. You're going to have to look in this, okay? And you're going to have to pray and ask God for guidance, all right? All right? Shalom. Oh, live for Him and love one another. Hey, He loves you. He'll guide you. Trust Him.